Okay guys, so if you watched my video yesterday, I was working on basically seeing if GLM 4.5 was actually any good. So what I'm doing here is I'm just removing uh, Claude code so that I can basically reset my Claude code. And what I'm actually going to do in today's video is I'm going to use exactly the same prompt and see what the difference is between GLM 4.7 and Anthropic, right? Because a lot of people are saying that GLM is near the of level of anthropic but i'm still yet to actually find anything that that would prove that so what i'm going to do in today's video is i'm going to do a fresh install of claw code i'm going to run exactly the same prompt that i did yesterday i'm going to see how much better or worse the ins the coding is on anthropic right but one thing i will say is obviously cost is extremely important here so yeah obviously i personally the way i think this is going to go is claude code is going to do a much better job with uh, opus 4.5 than glm 4.7 that's maybe obvious to people but is it so much better that the cost justifies it right that's kind of what i want to work out in today's video like i said in my opinion okay excellent so i'm on the claude max account now so the first thing we need to do is just roll back uh what we actually did so let's just make sure we're on opus here beautiful um get the github back wait let me just check them in right yeah skip permissions dash c and then we'll just say a local file to be at main on the github this is harbor right yeah so main is good Hey guys, just before we continue, quick word from our sponsor, me. This is harborseo.ai, a tool that I made about a year and a half ago, but that I had serious problems for a very, very long time. What I did was I basically took everything that I learned in the last year when it comes to coding and recreated it from scratch and gave everyone higher tokens, higher everything, and I'm slowly but surely making this the best tool in the world when it comes to AI blogging. If you want to check out harborseo.ai, again, if you've ever had an account, you get 50,000 free credits, and I will be adding a free trial very, very soon for people who have never used it. Since launching the new Harbor SEO, I've added new things such as the scout feature, which finds trending topics in your niche, the change log, so you can see everything that I'm up to, the My Archive section has had a huge update as well. And like I said, the limits have been increased from about six articles a month to 25 articles a month. All of that is for $29 and please check out harborseo.ai. Thanks for the attention and back to the video. Okay, there we go. So we're back on origin slash main, origin main. So TypeScript, copy. This is the exact same problem that I did yesterday. If you don't know what I'm doing, guys, just watch yesterday's video. I'm basically just testing to see if um, GLM 4.7 is actually worth it because of how kind of comparatively worse it is for price, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do the exact same build that I did yesterday, um, exact same prompt, exact same everything, and I'm going to compare the results uh, of these two basically fighting against each other. So we'll be back in 25 minutes, and we'll see how it's doing. Okay, so while this is just working through this, guys, um, I had to reset it because I didn't. I had untracked changes basically on my GitHub. Let me just talk briefly about what I'm trying to actually understand here. Right, there's kind of two things with LLMs right there's cost obviously but then there's also like trustworthiness right and you could also call this power or intelligence i guess power intelligence but what i'm what i basically mean by this is how much can you trust that the llm is actually doing what you want it to do right so cost for a lot of people is the biggest factor right not everyone has you know, 5k plus to play around with every month uh, for API costs, for example. Although we have just completely shredded that now, our costs are more like 1k a month now. Not everyone has $200 for the max plan, not everyone has $100 for the max plan. So for some people, cost is the most important thing. If the most important thing for you isn't cost, a video like this that I'm showing you today isn't really relevant because, like, you're not really ever going to use GLM. 4.7 which is the one that i tested yesterday over claude right for back-end coding now 
from what I did yesterday anyway, and from what I'm trying to understand today as well. I want to see that today. That's kind of what I'm trying to test today, right? But in my head, as of today, you wouldn't really use GLM because the the cost, although it's better, the trustworthiness, power, and intelligence just aren't as good, right? And I care way more about this than this, right? But there are other things to test. So there's also Minimax, right? M2.1, is that going to do better with the test that I'm going to do probably tomorrow? So yeah, kind of the most important thing for me is trustworthiness, power, and intelligence. But I understand that there is also a need for people who care about cost more, which is why I'm making this video. Can we bridge the gap between costs and intelligence with any of these models? And from what I've seen, what I saw yesterday, right, if, I, if you don't want to spend a hundred bucks on the max plan, from what I saw yesterday, you can definitely get away with doing a lot of your backend coding with GLM 4.7. And then even, I would argue, Haiku 4.5 should be on this list, right? Gemini 3 Pro, uh, sorry, 3 Flash should also be on this list, right? So can we get these cheap models or cheaper models to perform as well or almost as well as the Sonnet and Opus models? That's kind of what we're trying to explore in these videos now for me the main kind of point of contention is or like the the main thing here is if i have to spend an hour doing something on glm 4.7 that's not as good and i can't trust the code it's written right the the important thing here for me is trust it's not really so much power and intelligence although they are different ways to say trustworthiness in this case can you trust that the code that has been built by GLM 4.7, Minimax M2.1, Gemini 3 Flash, Haiku 4.5, can you trust it enough to justify the difference in cost between something like Opus and something like Haiku or Gemini, right? So how do we test that? If Opus one-shots this perfectly, it's just hard for me to say to people, you know, just use GLM. Because if you have to spend hours and hours and hours, and especially if you're not a coder like me, like I'm not a dev, if I can't understand why something is wrong and GLM has done something wrong, then the trustworthiness is just not there and it's not worth the difference in cost, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, actually, GLM has done a better job for a very specific reason. It actually used the wrong... Look at this. Gemini 2 Flash... And it just changed Gen AI to generative AI for no reason, right? I, I don't get it. Literally, like it's embarrassing for an anthropic to be beaten by GLM four point seven. But I mean, on this particular test, it has actually been beaten. I had to watch this. Luckily, I'm I'm not vibe coding, right? I'm not just leaving it to do whatever. I'm sat here watching it. If I wasn't sat here watching it. This would have used the wrong package. It would have confused a non-developer for hours and hours and hours. Why isn't this working? Why is the quality so bad? Right? Luckily, I'm sat here watching it. But literally, this is this is embarrassing. GLM 4.7 didn't do this. Right? So, what the hell? Why would you pay 15 to 20 times more for something that doesn't necessarily even work better? Right? Now, like I said, luckily, I was sat here watching it. So, let's see how this is right because that is a small mistake and luckily i was watching but it could have been a huge error if i wasn't watching right get the project running locally both convex and xjs so yeah i mean claude is it still king i mean let's find out now i'm disappointed though um technically that makes me want to lower the score uh, like massively for for claude right Luckily, like I said, I'm not vibe coding, so it's still probably going to be a much better result here, I would guess. So it makes this mistake every time. Every single AI I use makes the same mistake. Convex is obviously not just simple out of the box for AI to code with, but I mean, it had enough source material to draw from from my entire app, so I would have expected it to not have made this mistake. Okay, so overall, guys, it's used the wrong model throughout, which is a really, really bad sign. However, the actual front-end build here is exactly what I wanted, right? I mean, almost exactly what I wanted. It's done 
some things slightly differently. Like I didn't really want this setup, but I actually like this setup and I probably will end up using this setup. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's good, but it's not, it's, it's the same as the other one, right? Like the front end implementation is much better, but the back end, I can see that throughout it's used the wrong model. There's no AI as far as I can see uh, in the actual featured image generator. I do like this template um, playground though. This is actually much better than what I was trying to build. So it took what I kind of gave it and it made something better, which is obviously, you know, 10 out of 10 worthy. But yeah, it used the wrong model throughout, which is just an absolute nightmare like to go and fix now. I'm curious to see how something like Minimax does with... Uh, with this image, with, with, with this prompt, right? So you can see here, guys, it used the model that doesn't even exist. So again, I have to give it this code again, right? This was given it from the very beginning. GLM 4.7 used this and only this model. It's actually kind of wild to see this, guys. It's 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 very interesting to see this, I have to say, because I would have expected Opus to just one-shot this, no problem, right? But it's actually not the case at all. It's one shot the front end, but the back end stuff would have caused, you know, an absolute nightmare had I not already seen that it was using the wrong model. Am I not used to this using the wrong model? Like, I already know that it's going to be wrong, et cetera. So let's see if it's actually managed to create everything now. Uh, looks like we're pretty much there, and it looks like this is now working. So we should see a final result here in just a second. And then I would say this is probably an 8, eight out of 10. It's slightly better than GLM because it's a much better implementation of what I wanted. And also look at that. Oh damn, yeah, it's actually really, really good. Let's just have a look. Oh yeah, that is much better. However, this isn't the website. It's not two men, right? It hasn't used the logo, etc. So there's still a few problems here, but this is a much better final result. I do have to give it to Claude. It's done a better job. However, the fact that it tried to use the wrong model, tried, you know, it tried to do all these different things, have set it back slightly but this is a much better starting point to build the entire feature than it was with glm 4.7 i'm going to do this test with flash iq and minimax this is going to be a new test that i kind of do with um, these models just to see which one is actually performing uh, the best at this time so far opus is the king still so we will be saying that opus is the king Opus has done a much better job than GLM 4.7 in terms of actual implementation. However, I have to mark it down because of it trying to use the wrong model and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.